Hey peeps. Just finishing some peanuts that I was eating. <clears throat> and I don't have any more soda left. That's disturbing. Sorry about the shakiness. It's probably just going to be shaky because when I try and fix the shakiness, it just doesn't go well. Anyway, I'm driving home. I just picked up my prescription. So that means when I take today's pill, I will have been on Zoloft for a whole month. And it's helping. So I'm grateful that it exists and I'm glad that it's helping. got a funny look because I'm talking into a camcorder. But at this day and age, I'm surprised that people still look like that. Sorry, I got stuff in my eye. I'm surprised that people still give you dirty looks. Like, hello, have you people ever heard of this little website called YouTube? Upon which people vlog and talk to their cameras and their subscribers? Like, hello? Technically, I don't, yeah, I don't call you guys my subscribers. I call you my friends. But, hello, have you people ever heard of this little website? I'm not working today, thank goodness. Well, technically, I guess I'm working. I'm just not working at the world shop. Thank goodness, this heat is ridiculous. Today went really well. We were driving past a yard sale right, like, in our neighborhood. And they were selling a treadmill. So we got a second treadmill today. So that Daisy and Marvin can treadmill at the same time. Like when it's too hot or too cold or too rainy um, or I'm too lazy for them to get a walk. I'm kidding. It's usually not a case of laziness on my part. It's usually a factor of heat. Because with Marvin's nose, it is not good. He does not do well in heat. So... Um, we got a second treadmill. I think I'm going to take some footage of that in a little bit. First, I have to get home and get some food in me because all I've had is, um, well, earlier Ange was kind enough to make me some scrambled eggs. I swear she makes the best scrambled eggs. I don't know what she does differently than I do, but they're so good. I jokingly say that she puts crack in them because they're so addictive. I could literally eat them for, like, every meal of the day. Well, not every meal because that would get old. And then they wouldn't be as good, but I could eat them once a day, easily. It's like Taco Bell, it never gets old. But, um, when I get home, I'm going to have some, uh, low-carb pancakes and some, maybe even a little sausage. And, um, just relax for a little bit. I think we're going to watch a little bit of Team Mom. Last night I was so cranky because like we were watching Team Mom and I was just getting so angry. Because I don't know if y'all know Farah, but okay, I'm going to have a little rant here. She makes me so angry. Number one, she's a bitch. Number two, she just got rid of a dog before she left and moved out of state or whatever. And now she's getting another one. You couldn't take care of the first puppy, which you conveniently kept through its cute puppy phase. And then as soon as it got old enough to not be, in your definition, cute anymore, you got rid of it. What is that you teaching your daughter? What's that teaching Sophie? Is her name Sophie? I think it's Sophie. Anyway, the kid looks like, like when the kid gets angry, she's like, Rawr! she's not cute when she's angry. It's not, <laughs> I can't stand her, I can't stand her kid, and I can't stand her parents. The only person out of that situation I like is her dad, Michael. He's cool. Like, he's genuinely trying to help. He drives her shit from one state to where she's moving five hours. He's driving the U-Haul, and she's just, like, not grateful. She's just, ugh. Oh. I don't have a father in my life right now. Like, I, my dad's dead, but, like, if I had a dad around... And he was willing to do that stuff for me. I would not have the balls to turn around and be like, eh, like, I'd be like, thank you so much. Like, oh my God, I appreciate it. I didn't have to have the baby in the hot you 
alcohol, you know, because those things are air conditioned, but they're never air conditioned the way that they're never comfortable. And they're hard as heck to drive because they're hard to get up over 60 miles per hour. And it's like, I mean, she was just so ungrateful. It made me so angry. Anyway, I love Caitlin and Tyler. They're like my favorites on the show. Mainly Tyler. I love Caitlin too, but Tyler's just so... Like, his dad, Butch, is so messed up, and he's just still such a good kid. Like, I wish Tyler were my little brother. I have a little brother, Tyler, but... And I love you, Tyler, but I'm talking about, you know... Anyway. Um... What else? I don't like Macy. Like, what is that? She's trying to go on vacation with Ryan's parents? And his family? And, like, she got all mad when... Ryan's got a new girlfriend well that's what happens when you break up your ex is gonna move on you know they're gonna get into another relationship with somebody who's not you she's like oh she's not cute or I'm sweeter or whatever so what you're not with him anymore I don't get that like move on be happy you've got Kyle who was in it who is an incredible guy and he's so good with Bentley and he's so awesome it's like don't you see what you have on now. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And Amber? I can't stand Amber. And I can't stand how her brother was acting like Gary wants Amber to be messed up so that he can keep her. Gary is the prize, in my opinion. Like, when he met her and, and knocked her up, like, they're acting like she didn't have a part in that. He didn't rape her. It was consensual sex. When he met her, she was heavier. She was hit. She was not hit because she was heavier, but she was hit. And now, because she lost some weight and cuted herself up, and now she knows how to put on false eyelashes that I never see her without, and they always look ridiculous on her. Like, now, they want to act like he is, what, a, a, a jackass for, like, doing this to his sister? Like... Okay, it takes two to have sex. It takes two to have a baby. Like, to create a baby. I don't understand what... I, I, I'm not understanding. Like, they're acting like Amber's innocent. And, like, is it Gary's fault that she got on the pills? No. Is it Gary's fault that she chooses to do drugs? No. Is it Gary's fault that she chooses to be... angry and bitchy and manipulative is that Gary's fault no that's her behavior anyway so we're gonna watch the rest of or uh we have two more episodes of Teen Mom to catch up on and I'm really hoping that I can control myself through them because the last episode I watched really made me irate really Anyway, for those of you that don't watch Teen Mom, this is probably pretty freaking boring, but I just wanted to make a little car vlog and talk about how irate I was about the show. Today really was good. We got the treadmill, which I did not anticipate getting, but I'm so excited that we did. Um, I even found a couple of treadmills on Craigslist for Angie's dad and their dog, Folly, which I didn't have this camcorder when Folly was around her. I would have gotten footage of her. She's just... She's just a sweetheart. I love her. Um, what else? There's a bird up on that. I don't know if y'all can see it. You see that bird? Right up there. Right up on there. It's just kind of cute. Anyhow, oh shit, driving a stick shift is not easy while you're trying to vlog. Maybe I should stop one. Alright, I'm gonna pull over. No, I'm just kidding. I'm almost home. What I really want is to take my shoes off, put on some shorts, relax for a little bit, get some food in me and a cold drink, and just chill for the rest of the night. The dogs are gonna be on the treadmill because it's almost 90 still and um well I guess it's 
not quite 90, but it's close. But, <clears throat> yeah. It's almost home. I'm almost home, and, uh... Is there anything you guys particularly want to see about our lives? Um, don't be dirty now. But, any questions you have for myself or Angie Lou? I know we've done this before, but, um, don't be shy now. <laughs> Ask if you have any questions, and, um, other than that, there's a garage sale right by our house, which is where we got the treadmill. And they have a TV for $15, and it's a secondhand TV, but it seemed like a nice one. It just, um... My only concern is, you know, taking electronics out of someone else's house. If they're dirty, there's a chance of bringing bugs into your house. And I don't want to take that chance. I want to see if we got any mail. I bet Ange already checked the mail. She probably did. Never mind. I mean, you never know. She might not have. I'm waiting for Amazon to deliver my mini SD card for my cell phone. Oh, is this it? Yes! Fucking sweet! Alright, so that's pretty much it. I got my SD card, so I'm excited because my cell phone's going to be, like, so much more useful now. Now that I can send and receive text messages again. But, um, that's pretty much all I have. You're probably going to see a couple of videos get posted tonight because I have so much footage from today. And I want to show y'all what it looks like when the dog's treadmill, which I know you've seen it before from when I did it back in PA, but... Maybe I might even do a little bit more of a house tour since we moved furniture around and we've gotten even more organized since moving. Who knows? I might I might do that. Alright y'all. I'm going to go in and get something to eat and something to drink and put my feet up. So, much love and peep out.